organizations when they adopt a standard, they really should be looking at the reasons why they're adopting it and not just doing it to put a certificate on the wall. Um, they really want to make sure that the asset management program or any standard that they implement is built towards the actual processes that they're operating and they're driving value and benefit out of it. Um, the certification process, it's a um, three-stage process. Um, first, we start off with the RFP where we ask the organization for various information about their organization and their scope of activities and what's included in the scope and boundaries of that organization. And from that point, we develop our, um, what we call our audit days um, on site. And the, the audit actually is a two-stage process. Uh, the first stage is a stage one, which we call it. We'll come in and evaluate the organization's documented system, making sure that it meets the elements of the standard on the, on the surface. And then if there's any items that need to be addressed before we go to the actual stage two, um, we highlight those, those areas and it gives the organization an opportunity to um, fix those areas or, or put more um, substance behind it. And then we'll go through what is called the stage two audit, where the, our auditors will go out into the organization. Um, we do our, our, our core element pro, uh, activities, which includes management review, internal audits, you know, what your um, KPIs are and goals. And then we get out into the field and we actually see how the standard has been implemented. And we uh, look at the uh, organization, interview your employees, look at how um, assets are being operated and then making sure those are meeting the intent of the standard. And then if all goes well, we issue our uh, certificate, which is valid for three years. And we go in and do um, an audit on an annual basis, um, which is not as comprehensive as the, our certification audit, but it covers elements of the core processes and the core areas of, of the audit, as well as to ensure that the actual uh, management system is still operating effectively. And then we, and what we do there is we have an audit once annually. And then once that um, period ends, we go into what's called a recertification audit, which is a little bit more in depth. And then um, if all goes well, again, we issue a three-year certificate and it, so it follows the same process. Um, so we do have uh, many clients that um, see the value in certification. And again, it's really important for organizations to develop a management system, which will drive um, re return on value, return on benefits, and to really making sure that you're driving continual improvement within the organization and get what you expect out of it. And uh, that's important for all of us to know. And um, when you look at ABS quality evaluations, um, like I had started earlier in my conversation, we are a global organization and the clients that we have within our group, um, we call them our partners and we really wanna make sure that they're getting the value that they, that they need. And they're not just hanging certificates on the wall, but it's really driving from the life cycle of assets, return on investment, higher profitability, making sure you're understanding, you know, your environmental impacts um, and aspects as well. So we're really focused on those type of activities when you're rolling out a management system program. 